Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome. So I lied. I said I wasn't going to stream today. Well, I said I might, but I ended up deciding I'm going to. I did have some stuff to do today, so apologies to my girlfriend. <laughs> nah, I, I told her yesterday that there was a possibility I was I was going to stream today, so I figured we'd play, we'd, we'd get back into uh, Fallout VR. It's been a little while, actually. Well, I mean, it's been like a little over a week, I guess, since we, we finished Subnautica yesterday. So I figured we'd, we'd do a little bit more. We'd get back into Fallout for a bit. Next week may or may not be different. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, let me move this window. Oh yeah, the other cam's not on. <laughs> Y'all can't see me over there. Uh, oh well, I'll just go ahead and turn that camera on. We'll just go ahead. We'll go ahead and kick things off instead of delaying. I always do the. One of my speakers are on. Let's turn those off. Um. Following not kicking on. Annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours. It's because I'm doing the audio, idiot. have prepared these educational materials for you. Kicking the audio on. I always select the wrong thing sometimes. There we go. All right. Um. And, and now charisma. What is it hear me made over of? Here? Good. Yes. All Unlike right. Unlike the clean, wholesome America you may recall. The uh, wasteland so will long be ago. a distrustful place, full of <laughs> unsavory characters and a few morals. Mm. This is before the bombs, right? Earning the trust of your fellow man is an often overlooked key to survival. One way to prove your trustworthiness is through fair commercial exchange. Your renowned charisma will enable more favorable bartering. Don't get greedy now. Use your charismatic nature you to spoon. negotiate your way out of tense moments. Having friends off. is Office always cold of earlier. value. How else do I find friends, you may wonder. You may find an impromptu cocktail hour helps to ease social stress. Also, I'm gonna Your move. charisma will help you avoid the perils of addiction, but not the immediate effects of drink. So practice moderation. Or you'll find out I might still wander off camera a bit, but the hard way. maybe it won't look so odd when I do it. You will find that even wild animals can be charmed okay. by your charisma. Looks like you've found a new pal. Oh, don't get carried away there, big fella. So you see, taking the charismatic approach is more than just good manners. Working with man's best friend into more loyal companions will convincing others to act on your behalf and regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. Okay. I'm in. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? All right. I can see. Man, it's been a little while. I kind of halfway forget what we were doing in Far Harbor. That's what happens. I didn't... <laughs> because I wasn't planning on streaming right away, I forgot to charge the controllers, so... I gave him a quick boost before. Oh yeah, we were at the, the very laggy hotel. Holy shit. This will be fun. I remember this place was laggy as heck. Um. Yeah, so I had to give the, the, the controllers a cheeky charge. Sorry, uh, is it, can I be late on a day I wasn't planning on streaming? 
I was pretty much on time, but I forgot there's a whole setup I have to do to get the, everything ready to stream VR. Well, it's not that I forgot I had to do it, it's just I always forget the amount of time it takes. Because it always takes a while. Ah, uh, here we are. Back in the wasteland. Mm. Bit dodgy frame rates here, but hey, Kiri! What are you doing? You still got your red dress on? Okay. Yeah, frame rate's dodgy. There. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Carrie, I guess this is the hotel we're staying at. You okay with this? I mean, it looks pretty nice. Hmm. Good old Fallout. With the old hovering hands. we got. Alright. Uh, yeah, let me make sure. Okay. Let's see. Make sure, for one, the streaming's going good. Make it two, sure I'm I'm on camera. I think I need to move the camera over. I'm standing like, if I move over here. If I move over there, I, I sweep so off that camera. I'm still on camera if I'm over here. Okay. I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. That's called heavy drinking, Curie. And it's not a bad idea. A lot of reavers in here. Get off me. You got him, Curie. Do you need a little Private time, carry. Employees must wash hands. I'm pretty sure that guy didn't wash his hands. Just looking at him, they don't look washed, do they? I can't wait to get out of this area because it is. Hey, do you need something? For no, me? I don't actually. I was trying to open this door. been a real swish hotel back in the day. It's a shame it's, uh, not even had stairs. And there's water. I guess it makes sense. Let's see, is there anything back here? Just a bunch of dead bodies. Yeah, we searched these rooms. Okay, we're ready to, to, to follow what's her face up inside, I guess. Maybe get a better frame rate than this. She's apparently dealing with it. Here's just kind of dealing with it. All right. Get this door unlocked. Yes. By the way, good that's still working. Man, it feels weird, like you know, not having played this for like a week, week and a half. Like it almost feels like I haven't been here in forever. This belongs in the garbage can. Yes. I got a bucket, Curie. Okay. Guess we're not going up there, man. It's like the further you go up, the worse the, the frame rate gets in here. Hello. Oh, the 
frame rate's not helping. Help me carry. Kid me. The legendary just fell through the dang floor, so I can't loot him. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't pick up the legendary loot. happen to fall full body into this pile of junk so I can't loot him so I'm turning my nice starts just kind of standing there not moving. I thought you were I thought you were a ghoul just like looking at me. This is why the DLC wasn't added, because this area is really not optimized Scott. for shoot him in the legs. Hold up, Kerry. Soap. I can't have it. Systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me. Well, that's good, Kiri. I mean, I'm glad to know that you're enjoying it out here. That's what that's, that's what this honeymoon's about, dear. My alert jerky. when this might crash. We think the keeper of this hotel would be concerned about, you know. The uh decrepit state of this place. Get him, carry. Reloading. Oh.
Feels good to be back, though. Nice to be back in Fallout. Why did I get shocked? Monsieur Platt predicted this condition. It appears he was correct. Get away from me. Take his legs out. And she just disarms him. There we go. She's shooting. There's another one. Oh, it's up there for some reason. It's a drop bear. <laughs> Legs get knocked clean off of it. Ooh, pro snap camera. We can take photos now, Kiri. a drop. Man, this poor hotel. Bet she was a beauty once. Not like you, Kiri. Oh, there's bear traps. Can I? No, I can't trigger them for some reason. anymore. I'll just take them off your hand. Legendary Ghoul only had a fuse on it? Kiri, did you? Hang on, Kiri. Where did you get that weapon? Hey. You need something, yes? Here's what I have on me. The Hunter's Assault Rifle. Did I give that to you? Is that what you took from... Oh well, that's fine. Eh, you can use it. That's okay. I don't mind. It's getting dark. All the booze is empty. I guess the dude living up here, you know, took all of it, right? All right, Gary, let's go. No booze for us today. Let's see if we can find some in the kitchen. I see some nuka. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I will work on this. Take everything. Yeah. You don't just sleep in the kitchen like that. Some new guy. Oh, money.
Sure. We need a fire extinguisher, Kiri. It's for safety. I'd like a fire extinguisher, Kiri. Let's continue on. There's cash registers. Lights on. I mean, I'm surprised about a couple things. One, that the lights are on, and two, that they've lasted this long. When do you ever find a light bulb? When you were alive. Well. The loosest definition of alive. Jerry, that's what I am now. I decided to be a coroner. This is eerie. Someone is enemy detected. Where? Oh, those were here. To the legs. Oh, it wants my face. Your pulse and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. Hmm. Leg. Automatically use stim pack when hit while health is twenty five percent or less. Do it for now. Looks pretty good. Sometimes I have regrets about this darkness mod. <laughs> Sometimes. It does it does change things and I like it. It does make things difficult in a nice way. Off, Kiri.
eerie. Ooh, crickets. I don't think I want to meet these crickets, though. But they're the size of cats. Or worse. Help is fine. Need to reload. Okie dokie, let's move on. Looking for the shooter. Well. Curie. Where'd you find this guy? Don't touch my wife. Don't touch me. Where did that thing even come from? Goldbush slur. I can be invisible for ten seconds. Another plastic spoon. I'm detecting a theme here. Double crap. Help. Here. Help. <laughs> Why is that you so dangerous? Oh, this one looks a lot different. down here. Ugh. This guy didn't look too terrible. A gangrenous feral ghoul. That's why it looks different. Man, how far is this place? Was that not, what is I supposed to come here to solve a murder? I'm like murdering half the people in here. Nice.
unfortunate. It's like the mattress just wasted away to nothing. But her dress survived. <sighs> Sorry. A lot of cash in this this room. I feel like there's a story here not being told. Sorry, were you resting? Housekeeping. Kiri, where are you? cult was in here. So many of these ghouls have spoons and there's more cash. What's going on here? Like some underground spoon ring. Like some kind of sinister spooning going on. <coughs> Coming, Kiri? You were in there. Where'd you go? Kiri? You using the toilet, Kiri? No? She goes off on her own sometimes. It happens. Like the, it's like maybe the, maybe it's not spoons. Maybe it's just tableware. Oh, crap. Nice. Perfect place to shit. <laughs> nice, Carrie. Nice silhouette you're doing there. I like it. Sure you weren't. Oh my God, she Batmaned me. Uh. <laughs> Great. She pulled the Batman. Kiri. Oh, there's more cash. Look at this. Making the big bucks just by. Humanity has fallen so since the bomb. She's like outside the window. Or something. <laughs> she is just she somehow ported herself outside. These appear worthless. Surely we can leave that behind. More cash. Let's try this. Hang on. 
I'm wondering again, aren't I? Try not to do that. I'm just making sure. Oh yeah, we got a harpoon gun. Does my rifle do much against a ghoul? Come on, pick that up. A subway token. Carrie's outside somewhere. Teleported herself outside. Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Don't do that, Kiri! How did you do that? Where did you come from? <sighs> Look, I get it. You can do stealth. Jesus. Look, this elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing. Thank you. Can I change my pants? Cause, cause my robot wife over here scared the shit out of me. I need a drink. In fact, do I have a drink? Urban it is. Huh? What's down this hallway? This sinister looking hallway. Would you climb in the window, Kiri? Is that how you got up here? Whoa. Got a weird reflection after image going on. Oh, we all going? Oh, we're all cramming in here. Okay. That's fine. We're all just crammed in. I went by myself. Oh, no, wait. Hi, guys. Look, here. She just... Downstairs isn't much better than the upstairs. Are we down or are we up? Ooh. You need to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control panel there. There's a vault. Oh yeah, we know there's a vault here. Well, I can't have clean linens. See, this is why I'm glad for the the way they they did Fallout 4. You didn't have to go in and actually physically open every single item. Oh, Shanka hats. 
Bobby pins. It's not too bad down here. I mean, there's a nice chair. That's a really lovely table. I like it. So, I mean... Oh, she's busy. Greetings! Welcome to Vault 118. Your home away from home. Underground. Are you the detective we sent for? It's me, Pearl. I've returned with the investigator. Let me just get the door for you. Sounds like a Mr. Handy. Yes. Bourbon war off. I like how they even set up the outside of the vault to look, you know, pretty nice. Well, it's about time the police sent someone out to investigate. We have many important residents, and they are very worried. Okay. Well, what what's up? What happened? Who died? It's Mr. Parker, the primary owner and financier for the hotel. This is just a disaster. But... Is that at the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, Detective. I shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. Okay, thanks, Pearl. R2-D2? This is like the most swish vault I've ever seen. Uh... Okay. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Well, okay. It might seem a little absurd. A robot has been murdered, but it is using a human brain. So, it's one of those kind of robots. Hmm. Is this blood? It looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. I wonder why in these robots they would expose the brain. Looks like we got a blood trail down here. Looks like he was dragged, maybe. Oh. There we go. Ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Well, I think I found the weapon. A baseball bat? Huh. What's this doing here? Of the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks. 
but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. Right. Well, we, we found the murder weapon. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. This is all just like being extremely theatrical here. Alright, well. Good morning, Crow Warrior. What are you doing? Oh, we got a murder mystery on our hands here. Alright. Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentient floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Alright. Can I just call you Johnny Five? What do we got here? Tell me. What does this piece say to you? Well, I mean, kind of says to me that how did you do that with those kind of claws? But, you know, you got a little smock on too, nice. It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. <laughs> Curry, it looks like shit. What do you think? Me, what does this one say to you? Oh, this one? Oh, well. I mean, honestly, it's trees in space. Yes. In space! Maybe it's about the struggle to maintain life adrift in an empty void! Oh, what a very literal interpretation. I asked what he communicated, not what the shapes on the canvas were. He must have said. Look here, I'm an artist too, and this guy's full of shit. Hmm. Be honest, for art without a 
protagonist is just politics. Well, I mean, art is politics, let's be honest. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my Whatever. serious assessment. Mm. What does that tell you about the value <laughs> of art to the core? Enough. <laughs> I love the background commentary. That's exactly what I would be saying. Alright. Well, is that it? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest work. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Uh huh. Doing great. That's 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 great. <laughs> it sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, Detective. Do you not see this de fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so in the moment. I must admit, I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that brute actor. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. Hmm. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. Uh huh. All right, Carrie, we're on the lookout here. How's he get up the stairs? All right, let's look around. A lot of booze. What do you think? It's really dark up here. A stage up here. Maintenance. <laughs> I wonder if the laws of property are different at this time. They are, Curie. Don't worry about it. hallway. Ooh. Lots of books. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> Hello? Got some Hello, questions for detective. you. Did you need something? Yeah, I got Looking questions. For a gift to bring back to that special someone. What Let's do you got? see what you have. Something for everyone. Hmm. You have ammo. Dapper gents reduces damage from robots. Hmm. Actually, better than what I have now. Got a 
combat helmet. This is actually better. Have, wait. Do you have a note that's request for a detective? Hang on. We'll take those two. Take some of my, uh, where is it? Yeah, take it all. It'll knock the cost down a bit. Anything else? Okay, that's good. 